Hello guys, you are here because we've got some cool stuff to share with you and it is entirely free and it's going to generate more exposure for you, especially on Google. So I'm going to get right to it. As you can see, we are looking at Google My Business. If you're not familiar or haven't heard that term before, Google My Business is basically an online property that Google is giving away to businesses for free. Now we'll talk about the reasons that they would want to do that. A Google My Business listing is kind of like the Yellow Pages ads that we used to have back in the good old days, right? You'd have to buy an ad and maybe you'd even pay extra to get that headline or your company name bold. Well, Google is actually giving away a listing and it's far better than that Yellow Pages ad. It's dynamic. You can have folks link to get directions. You can drive them to your website. You can actually have them just click a button and call you right away. Now, this doesn't have anything to do with your website. You don't even have to have a website. This is an entirely separate directory listing that is dynamic and made for businesses. Google wants to do this because the more time that you spend on Google, the more that you become reliant on their products, and then they are able to sell advertising through pay-per-click campaigns or YouTube campaigns or various different things. So they really want to keep you on Google and keep you reliant on Google. So just to give you a sense of, you can kind of see a demonstration here in this phone device. Um, but if we were to go to Google and we are gonna do a search, I wanted to show you what it looks like whenever someone who is searching online comes across a Google My Business listing. So I've gone ahead and, and typed in my search here for this business. And over here on the right, you can see um, all this great information. Now, I've just typed in their name specifically. I'm gonna share one other way in which this search might occur. Um, but you can see that over here on the left, there's a link to the actual company website, arizonabusinessequipment.com. There we go, there's your full, what we would call an organic result. But on the right, here's this really cool set of information. You've got photos, you've got a map that's listed here. And if I was to click on that, I could get directions to the actual physical location. We've got links to websites, uh, great information about reviews and ratings, hours, all this cool stuff. So how is this being presented, right? How is this information right here alongside this organic result? So let's try this search another way. I've put in a search for Tucson copiers. Google wants to show me results that are near me. So Google knows exactly where I'm searching from. And what they've done is put at the top of the page this really important free uh, set of information. As you can tell, there's a map right here. And these three businesses we would call, uh, we call the set the three pack. So each of these businesses has a opportunity now to get that click and to be able to um, be one of the consideration set businesses for my need, which is, is copier. So I'm gonna click on more places, give you another visual of how this shows up. And now we've got a larger map and even more businesses over here. If I'm clicking on one of the names of these businesses, I can then see that same set of really great information website link, all the review information, address, hours, photos, and lots of cool stuff that we're gonna uh, explore in even more detail here in a moment. But as you can see, for someone who's doing a search online and they want to find out uh, some information, having this area right here at the top of the page is really key. As we go down further the page, these will be the website links or the organic results that would be really important as well but they're not free this has to do with your website and, and a lot of work goes into your seo campaigns to get you in this location so in order to take advantage of all these great options within the google my business profile you need to actually have an account most people come to us and they've got a variety of situations either they have a google my business and they want to optimize it Potentially there is a Google My Business listing, but they do not have access to that, or a Google My Business listing has never been created. If you do have 
a Google My Business, or if you don't and you click that button, you're going to be taken to log into your Google account. Now, you need to have a Gmail address or an email address that is associated with your Google My Business. If you don't have a Gmail address, you can get one for free. So I've got a couple locations in my account because we manage multiple businesses. You will log in, you will not see any locations. And so what you're gonna to need to do is add a location, single location. So you click over here on the right and you're taken to this interface. Now, in order to claim your business or create a new Google My Business profile, you're going to need to make sure that Google knows that you are in fact the authorized person to manage this account. And so what you'll do is you'll enter your business name and then you're going to enter the address and you're going to have Google verify. So that's the second step. You wanna say that you wanna claim that business listing and then you're gonna verify that you're the one who actually owns that business. And the way that they do that most often is by sending you a postcard in the mail so they can make sure that they know you're the one picking up that mail and they connect then your street address with your email address and this account. So I'm not gonna go over every single step in verification, but what I did want to make sure that we clarified for you is that you're gonna to go to business.google.com and you're gonna to need to log in. And so again, you'll need a Gmail address or an email address that is synced up. And then whenever you log into that account at business.google.com, you'll be able to add a location and then follow the prompts to locate your business, indicate that you in fact are claiming that business as your own, and then you'll go through the verification process, which again, as I mentioned, is receiving a postcard. Sometimes there's different options for phone or for video confirmation. You'll need to see which one is right for you. And then you'll get a code, and then you'll enter that back into this account, and then therefore uh, you'll be able to continue to manage and edit your Google My Business profile.